Hello friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I have been absolutely waiting so long to be able to shoot another video on our 303 RLS. And I can't tell you how excited I am because you'll hear it in my voice. This trailer, the 303, is the reigning, defending, number one selling, best floor plan in the Reflection lineup. And the Reflection brand, you are looking at the number one selling fifth wheel brand in Alberta for five years in a row. And I'm gonna tell you folks, this product just keeps getting better and better and better. Tony Lizzie and the, the development team at Grand Design has done an absolutely fantastic job um, updating, refining, um, bringing to the marketplace new tech. Like this trailer, folks, is loaded with new tech. And I'm going to jump into it. I'm hoping this video isn't going to be too long for you. But uh, hang in with me because there are a lot of really cool new feature updates on this particular brand um, that Grand Design is just not holding back on. This particular fifth wheel is 32 feet, nine inches in length. So if you've got a three quarter ton diesel truck, uh, maybe a three quarter ton gas truck with the right tow capacity, a one ton, and you don't want a massive fifth wheel, but you want an extremely well-made, uh, intentionally designed uh, with extreme craftsmanship, I'm telling you folks, you want to be looking hard at a Grand Design reflection. So we're going to jump into it folks. The hitch weight on this particular trailer is 1,865 pounds. I know, forgive me, I'm standing up front here talking, but I just get so jacked up on these videos, especially when we're coming out with new product and all the new tech on this trailer is absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah, we're just gonna jump right into this. So right up through your pass-through storage compartment here, folks, you'll see it. It's a cool day here. We got it all lit up for you. One thing you'll find with Grand Design, folks, quality, quality. Everything's thoughtfully designed. You know, you've got fully bead welded aluminum framing. You've got more tubes than your typical fifth wheel, a thicker gauge alloy. The way they strap up the heat duct up in this compartment, folks, they actually use a welded on strapping. It's not a plastic screwed on strapping and this compartment's actually heated. So the beautiful thing about this is when you've got that 35,000 BTU furnace uh, running inside your trailer, that will create a nice warm air pocket between your upper deck where your bathroom and your bedroom is to the outside of the trailer. So uh, underneath your storage here, folks, one thing you'll note, yep, part of the new tech, 50 amp MPPT charge controller. And that is a beautiful thing. In this compartment as well, it's pre-prepped for an inverter. Plug and play, you mount it, you hook up the wires. It's already hardwired into the system. So if you get an inverter with a automatic transfer switch built into it, you are ready to rock and roll. And that MPPT charge controller, folks, 50 amp, is wired up to a standard 165 watt solar panel as well. So again, part of the new tech, this is the way the industry is going. This is what Grand Design's doing. The beautiful thing, and we'll do, when we jump up on the roof, we'll show you that the solar panel with that 50 amp charge controller, you can add three more 165 watt solar panels if you so choose. So um, unbelievable solar capability. They're building the infrastructure in. They're building the value in. They're not just bolting it on like some manufacturers. So again, true to form, Grand Design right up front, fully painted front cap, structure cap, very rigid, very structurally sound when that cap goes on. It's put on square. You don't have to worry about the fading and discoloration that you would with a lot of the other caps in the industry, folks. Grand Design also puts on an upper up, uh, upgraded graphic as well. It's a 3M graphic, higher UV coating as well. So it's gonna stand the test of time in terms of the sun. You know, if you're in the southern states, the sun's beating down on it, the heat, all of those things, graphics tend to fade and wear out. The Grand Designs uh, graphics are just a little bit better than most out there. So again, off the um, off door side, you've got your uh, wet bay here with your Nautilus P1 utility panel. They use this on all of their fifth wheels, folks. You'll find with Grand Design, they have a golden thread of consistency that travels between all of the brands. And so the beautiful thing is a dealer, the beautiful thing for somebody that's buying, a, buying an RV with a Grand Design, no apologies. Doesn't matter if you're going from a reflection to a solitude to an imagine, they're utilizing a lot of the same construction techniques. 
uh, for the most part, you know, they're utilizing a lot of the same features and content throughout the brand. So no sacrifices whatsoever, but you can backfill your fresh water tank, which on this trailer they've upgraded folks too. Part of the refining, the Grand Design continually goes through with their product development, 74 gallon fresh water capacity, absolutely fantastic. So black tank flush, water pump switch, um, You've got this switch here that'll activate the blue lights right up underneath your slide out for at night. You're not walking around banging your head and you know, you're not flooding out your neighbor with a big bright light, but uh, it's totally enclosed gate valves up inside the, um, the heated area or your heated underbelly as well. I'm talking faster. I'm having a hard time catching my breath. So forgive me. Um, but yeah, unbelievable wet bay here on the grand design product, the 303 over here, you've got your, uh, control module for the coach. This is tied to the Compass Connect system as well. Um, so this is tied in with your lighting, your leveling, your awning. You can download the Compass Connect app to your phone and control right from the, the, the convenience of your phone, your slide out. So if you're in a tighter camping space, you got trees in the way, you can stand outside your trailer and open and close your slide out. So you're watching if your slide's gonna touch a tree or something like that. Uh, which is really, really cool. You can do your lights, your leveling. It's a beautiful thing. Also, tire link, tire pressure monitoring. The entire kit, it's not just pre-prep. That's the dock for it. It comes with the module. It comes with the, um, the sensors that go on the end of your valve stems. Grand Design's putting that in. So you're not having to invest an extra, you know, five, $600 or whatever it is um, after the fact, okay? They're including it with the reflection, which is beautiful. Uh, you got a dock light here for your for your drain for your for at night if you're draining your tanks again 35,000 BTU furnace on demand continuous hot water heater we will talk a little bit more about that inside so again true to form for grand design folks the structure the foundation the uh, the you know how how they put the trailer together Unlike a lot of other products out there, folks, fully laminated, every vertical wall panel, the entire slide box, full walk-on slide boxes, aluminum frame superstructure, fully bead welded together, block foam insulation, wood dowels in the aluminum tubes to su support those steel screws. Very, very important, folks. Grand Design trailers, they're not the lightest weight out there because they're putting that infrastructure inside the walls that you cannot see. Okay, a lot of manufacturers, they like to put the lipstick on the trailer, but they don't put the infrastructure in the walls, in the roof, in the floor. Grand Design does that, but they also give you a beautiful look as well. So, rear laminated um, end wall on the trailer, fully framed in window openings. Okay, I could go on and on and on. I don't want to spend a p t pile of time on the structure because I do that in the other videos. So if you want to go deep on that, uh, maybe watch another video, hit like and uh, go through it. But we'll jump up on the roof as well. Okay, you've got a 3,000 pound hitch on the rear of this, uh, on the back side of this trailer with the flat four wiring. So depending on if you want to pull something behind the trailer with a quad, a side by side, a little fishing boat, you know, obviously length dependent, depending on what the laws are, depending on where you're at. The Grand Design Reflection comes with that 3,000 pound hitch and they do include those chain eyelets as well right there with the flat four wiring. So beautiful thing. We got the marker lights all set up. New tech item. Of course, rear vision camera, standard, bolted on, ready to rock and roll. It's not just pre-prepped. It's a beautiful thing. Those rear vision cameras, you know, they're quite, quite expensive uh, to add on. Up here in Canada, they can be as high as $1,000 extra. Grand Design's putting that in, okay? Giving you that value, that added experience. So um, as we're walking around the outside of the trailer, as I mentioned, fresh water capacity on this, upgraded, 74 gallons, beautiful. Your gray capacity is shared between two holding tanks, and that is 87 gallons. Again, another upgrade. And then your black tank, they boosted that to 47 gallons. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a cold day here. Um, so if you're dry camping, doesn't matter. You can fill up your fresh water capacity and both your holding tanks, black and gray, will hold the entire, um, the entire fresh water tank, which is beautiful. Um, you know, if you're at a campground, provincial campgrounds, a lot of them up here in Canada, they'll give you the fresh water hookup, but they won't give you the, the sewer drain right at your site. So you can flow as much water through the trailer as you want, but you gotta have a place to put it. And so Grand Design's giving you those really nice sized holding tanks on the trailer as well, which is a beautiful thing. 
dual awnings on the reflection as well. Grand Design was one of the first manufacturers to start doing that in a big way. So this one on the outside wall of your slide out folks, again, controlled by the Compass Connect system or the switch inside the trailer, 10 foot six. And then from the door going forward, you've got a 13 foot power awning. So 23 and a half feet of patio space on your trailer, covered, protected from the sun, um, from the rain, beautiful thing. And those awnings are fully adjustable as well, um, giving you that flexibility, which is good. So running gear, beautiful thing on Grand Design folks on this 32 foot, nine inch trailer, 16 inch Goodyear endurance tires, brand name tire, comes with a fabulous warranty, five year warranty, 12 months, no questions asked replacement. Grand Design gives you the, the, uh, the Dexter towing system, North American made, five year warranty on the axle. You've got the um, never adjust brakes, easy lube hubs, like you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your driveway. But we'll just shoot up on the underside of the slide out. Look how clean that is. It's a beautiful. You don't see any, like I've seen some products recently where they had like propane lines not running the underbelly of the trailer fully exposed and, you know, susceptible to road debris. Um, you know, and I just got back from Indiana and it, these are like new cutting edge products and they're just not going the extra steps. Um, Grand Design's doing it. They're thinking of it, which is, which is really nice. Again, back on the towing system. Um, sorry, I deviate sometimes. Bronze bushings on the shackles. Um, and you've got the Moride CRE 3000 suspension system as well, right in there. So that's gonna really help uh, allow for a really smooth ride. Moride, don't get that confused with some of the knockoffs out there that are painted blue as well that come from overseas. Grand Design really upgrading and putting premium product on their trailers. So more ride fold in and out step. This is a beautiful update. You can tilt the steps, sweep them off. The dirt's gonna fall off before you fold the step up inside the trailer. If you get to a point where you can't get the step out of the trailer, there's two pins that you can literally pull out and remove the step completely, which is really, really nice. So beautiful step, fully adjustable. It's a four step. So if you have, you know, access mobility concerns, you know, the steps are all evenly placed. Um, very, very solid, fully adjustable. It's a beautiful thing on a uh, grand design reflection so you do have the uh, barbecue quick connect that's that little piece of paper hanging here we'll just shoot that up under here boom right there quick connect so if you've got a portable fire pit um, barbecue there's a fire ban on um, you know you can definitely run those portable fire pits which is nice so <clears throat> Just gonna stand back here. One of the updates that they did last year, folks, is they went to a, a higher end gel coat on the reflection as well. Um, so it's like a Lamalux 4000. It's like the finish you get on a boat hull. So you don't see any of the fibers and the fiberglass that you used to see. So the beautiful thing about that is, um, you know, less susceptible to sun damage, fading. Um, if you were to ever damage the outside of the trailer, you know, easy fiberglass repair. They put that gel coat back over top. You can't even see that it's uh, been, been damaged or repaired, uh, which is a nice thing. Just helps maintain the look of your trailer. So we are going to uh, jump up on the roof. Give me a moment here. Huge windows on the entry side of your trailer too, which is nice. So we're just coming around the back. I'm gonna go up on the roof and uh, we're gonna talk about that just one moment all right friends we're up on the roof of this 2022 fully redesigned all new tech reflection 303 rls and we're gonna talk a lot where am i standing i'm on standing on top of the slide out look at this a lot of manufacturers can't say that grand design can why because this roof panel is fully laminated with an aluminum superstructure that's fully bead welded block foam insulation just like the sidewall very very strong grand design slide outs are built square very very important they're going the extra step the extra mile and i mean just look how clean this is absolutely beautiful bulb seals blade seals it's got the uh the, the gutter above to help divert the water off the top that runs down the top of the slot uh, uh main sidewall so they're keeping that water off which is a great thing the main roof 16 inch on center wood truss just like your house the thermal barrier 
that Grand Design has on their roof is absolutely fantastic. You get an R40 through their roof, okay? They're also doing attic vents, just like the old General Coach Citations and Corsair products, old Canadian built product built to go up to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Grand Design trailers temperature tested to minus 20 Celsius. Okay, that's as far as that they, they, they test it to. But with that R40, that's a double insulation, uh, bad insulation with the thermal barrier of the astrofoil insulation. The wood truss, the wood decking gives you an excellent thermal barrier. And that attic vent right there, folks, especially in colder climates, when you're running your furnace heat, you're showering, you're cooking, all of those things inside your trailer, very, very important. You want that moisture to escape. If you're doing any amount of winter camping or cold weather camping or fall camping, or early spring camping, stay away from a laminated roof, folks. Uh, moisture stays inside the trailers. We often see it where it drips from the roof inside. It'll land on your floor. You'll be sitting there watching TV and you'll have little droplets of water land on you, okay? So Grand Design's putting an all weather roof on it. The beautiful thing about an attic vent in a hot, on a hot day, just like your house, helps the heat escape, okay? So they're doing all of the best things for a roof inside a trailer. You get this same roof construction in all of their products. That's that golden thread of consistency that's beautiful with Grand Design. No apologies if we're going down to an Imagine or a Reflection 150 series um, into a Transcend, you're getting the same build, which is beautiful, okay? Um, again, full walk-on roof, walk-on slide boxes, 15,000 BTU Coleman Mach air conditioner. You've got the WineGuard Air 360 Plus TV antenna. That's a digital TV antenna. Um, it's pre-prepped so that you can add the gateway device, which is a Wi-Fi booster, and you can connect with a cell phone plan to suck in your, your data. So you can hook up to your Roku TVs inside the trailer and stream right off your cell phone plan um, or hook up to a Wi-Fi network with that gateway device. I think it goes as far as three miles out. So if you can connect to a friend, relatives, a campground's Wi-Fi network, you can stream that way as well, which is really cool. So um, vents on the Grand Design product, folks. That's the kitchen vent. It is a max fan, so it's got the big fan blade for when you're cook cooking. You can kick out that, that, heat, that, uh, that steam and moisture and that sort of thing. That's your 165 watt Furion solar panel, okay? It's got the plug and play adapter. So you could very easily add three more panels to this roof. You could add one right up in between your, your uh, bathroom and bedroom roof vents there. 165 water and you could add two more back here and that 50 amp charge controller will handle um, handle three more solar panels as well so if you're into off-grid camping um, want to do more of that rustic style camping where you're not having to plug into power you can get it done um, with the reflection which is great so we're just showing you look at the amount of die core and sealant that Grand Design puts on as well super thick Okay, they're not holding back. We've seen some products over the years, one even just recently where the roof is a mess, like roof vents covered in, in sealant, um, solar panels, skylights covered in sealant. Um, but we've seen it where literally the manufacturer will just put little dollops of sealant on top of the screw heads and down either side of the transition moldings on the roof. Um, and that's it. So Grand Design layering on that sealant so you know, you're not having to do your roof sealant touch-ups as frequent as maybe with some other products out there. So just buyer beware. I encourage you when you're doing your shopping, climb up on the roof. Roof is one of the most important parts of your RV. Okay, and Grand Design's going the extra step. There's a few other shots there of some reflections. It's a beautiful thing. We've actually got some product here to show you. All new redesigned Imagine absolutely fantastic and we're absolutely blessed to come to work every day and work at such a beautiful facility our owners have invested heavily into brick and mortar paved yards this is all of our dealerships by the way throughout western canada i encourage you to check out any one of our dealerships that are carrying the grand design product and uh, you'll get a very very similar experience so anyway i'm going to jump down and uh, we're going to head inside just one moment all right, friends, we're gonna head inside the 2022 Grand Design Reflection, redesigned, all the new tech, all the new updates, and uh, we're gonna jump into it. One of the things before I really start to jump into the, you know, shooting around the floor plan of this trailer, is that right from inception, Grand Design is very intentional and thoughtful 
with the floor plans that they design. And one of the things since its inception, the 303 was the very first floor plan that Grand Design built in the reflection lineup. And one of the things they heard from RV owners was having fridge access. Look at that fridge, by the way. Um, when the slide outs are fully retracted. And that's one of the things that Grand Design tries to build into the DNA of most of their floor plans, obviously floor plan specific. They can't do it on all trailers, but on floor plans where they can, they're gonna try to do it. And so with your living room and kitchen slide outs fully closed, you can access your fridge, okay? But the 303 RLS, it's a 32 foot nine inch trailer, but it's a big body floor plan. It's a triple slide. You've got the nice big island kitchen right here with the monster farm style single basin sink. Beautiful thing. If you don't want to use that much water, you know, Rubbermaid container, a lot of customers have been doing that. But solid surface countertops, very thick, very durable. Pull out faucet right here. Okay. But uh, one thing with Grand Design, tons of cabinets, tons of drawers. They're known for their cabinetry, folks. They do not hold back. You may see a flat panel cabinet door in disguise. It's actually a reverse raised panel door, which is much thicker, okay? They reverse raised panel that, right? Because a lot of manufacturers, to save cost, they'll go to a flat panel door to give you that modern contemporary look, but the cupboard doors just don't hold up. Grand Design, that reverse raised panel gives you a much more rugged door. It's a solid wood door, fully stained, mortise and tenon joint. Uh, they're doing the extra things there. So the Hutch, super popular. Right up here, you got your charging station. You've got the USB-C charging ports as well. So USB, the bigger one, the C, the smaller one, but uh, tons of storage. And then you've got 110 plugs up underneath the bottom side of your cabinets here. So for a coffee pot, a toaster, Margaritaville machine, whatever you want, um, Grand Design's giving you, the, uh, giving you the plugs to do it. And lots of height here as well, right, for those taller kitchen appliances. If you like to do a lot of cooking and meal prep and that sort of thing, crock pots, whatever, um, you can do it in here, which is nice. Check out these drawers. Like the hardware even they put on is beautiful right plywood construction nice deep drawers Let's back up show you the kitchen here we'll jump on that fridge because i'm going to talk a little bit about it but uh check this out beautiful size windows all on the campsite of your trailer that's one thing grand design doesn't hold back on they every single window in this trailer opens a lot of manufacturers that's where they save costs they'll only give you a few windows that open Grand Design, one of their DNA items, where they can, try to put every single window that opens. So, and huge windows too. They're not, the structures in the sidewall to support a big window, real important. Okay, so the freestanding dinette was redesigned last year. It's a beautiful thing. So you can take this back cushion right off the wall and you've got a storage ottoman, becomes a footstool. You can pull it over in front of your sofa as a footstool. You can store blankets inside. Okay, what's nice about that is if it's just, you know, a couple, two people, you can take the storage ottoman, move it over in front of your sofa, took the, take the back cushion out and move your other chair to the other side, giving you more flexibility around your dinette. Beautiful thing. They're really thinking about not just putting in a dinette where we're we going to sit people for meals. It's okay. How do we give people flexibility, right? If you're a bigger person and you want more space around your dinette, they're giving you that ability to do that, okay? A little storage spot there, storage underneath the seats. I know they've been doing these things for years, but we'll show it to you. Storage above your uh, theater seating, and then your trifold sofa. One thing with Grand Design, folks, one piece floor in this trailer. There are no seams anywhere in this trailer on the floor. The other thing, so you're not going to get the squeaking, the rattling, all of those things that you can get over time as your trailer flexes and stresses. The other thing, Grand Design, no heat ducts on their floor. Okay, so you don't have to worry about soft spots developing over time. The heat, heat duct right there blows out. They pour it through the bottom of the island, blows out across the floor. The beautiful thing, if you have grandkids, kids, um, and you have people sleeping on your trifold sofa, which makes into a bed, a lot of times they put heat ducts right on the floor in front of your couch. Well, if you've got to run your furnace at night and you've got somebody sleeping there, fold it over top of that heat, 
you're just going to bake your guests. So grand design, you know, thinking, structure, usability. The other thing is if you want to run your furnace going down the road, um, your slide outs aren't going to cover your heat ducts. So really nice thing. That's a DNA item. They've been doing those things since day one. The other thing that's new, no carpet on the slide floor. Beautiful thing. Easier to keep clean, sweep it out. People were asking for it. So grand design delivered. Okay. Shoot around. The pendant lighting. Okay. 5,000 BTU fireplace. So you've got 40,000 BTUs of heating capability with this trailer. 35,000 BTU furnace plus your uh, 5,000 BTU furnace. So Roku LED TV, Jensen DVD player, Bluetooth capability, all hooked up, ready to rock and roll. You can add that gateway device. Fantastic pantry. It's got the motion sensor lighting there. Boom. And then you've got your Furion stainless steel microwave and then oven and range. So spend a little bit of time on the fridge. Am I allowed to call a fridge sexy? I mean, RV fridges are RV fridges. This is not your typical RV fridge, although it's in an RV and it's designed for the RV space. This is the all new 16 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. Yes, I said it, 12 volt refrigerator. Look at that bad boy right there. 16 cubic feet. Look at the crispers at the bottom absolutely fantastic the original fridge was a 12 cubic foot gas absorption fridge the really nice thing about this fridge folks it's lighter weight there are no more vents on the outside wall of your trailer that the manufacturer has to cut holes in your walls to put in those plastic vents okay gas absorption fridges don't necessarily operate the way they used to okay they suck a lot of that hot air on the outside of the trailer on those hot days popping thermal fuses, you've got gas lines, they're not really that efficient. This fridge will cool to proper temperature within two hours. Okay, this is part of the solar package, the 12 volt, 16 cubic foot refrigerator. Okay, it's got an off grid uh, camping mode, so it's gonna use less power um, to keep your, your contents cool, but the tech on this, on this trailer, folks, is absolutely fantastic. Grand Design in their testing, I'm gonna share it. Okay, all cards on the table. Off of a 27 series 12 volt battery from room temperature with no solar support, that fridge ran for 23 hours. So it cooled it to proper temperature and maintained it for 23 hours off of a 12, single 12 volt battery. Okay, zero solar support. That's quite a bit of time for a fridge. Okay, that go far exceeds the performance that I thought that it would do. Okay, 165 watt solar. You've got the charge controller. I would encourage anybody looking at the fridge uh, RVs nowadays with the electric fridges, upgrade your solar or sorry your battery capability. Six volts, six volt AGM and AGM battery folks has a bigger funnel, meaning it allows more charge back into the batteries. We're doing a ton of AGM batteries. We've talked to, Grand Design's been running the, the 12 volt fridges on the um, Transcend for a year now. I just had a customer in uh, yesterday, or day before yesterday, sorry. That's all they do is dry camping. They don't plug in whatsoever. She was absolutely thrilled with the performance of her 12 volt fridge. Um, worked absolutely fantastic. She got more space out of it. Um, it cools very quickly. And with her solar support up on the roof, same solar panel, 165. The difference with the Transcend and the Imagine, because the Imagine's gone to a 12 volt fridge as well, just so you know. Um, 25 amp control charge controller on the Transcend Imagine. This has a 50. So you can upgrade and put that extra three solar panels on it. The way you want to look at a fridge, folks, and why I'm spending some time on this, because this is new tech. Sometimes we've got to get people's heads wrapped around it, okay? Um, fuel, uh, refrigerators require fuel whether that be propane and power, 12 volt power to operate the boards and all those sorts of things, or electricity. You have to replace that fuel somehow. So either you're adding more propane to your propane tanks or you're putting more electricity back in your batteries, okay? And with Grand Design, with the testing that they've done, um, they've gone deep, they feel they've put the infrastructure in the trailer 
for maximum performance, giving you flexibility to be able to add solar, put as many batteries in the basement as you want. If you're into doing a lot of, you know, dry camping, off-grid camping, those sorts of things, but they're backing it up with, um, with their warranties and the support that they give. So absolutely beautiful fridge. I love the size of it. The look is fantastic. And I think Grand Design has done the right things uh, to ensure that you're going to have an unbelievable camping experience with that new 12 volt fridge. So in the 150 series, just so you know, um, it's a 10 cubic foot fridge that they've gone to, same as the um, Imagine, other than the 260RD, which would have the big fridge too, because it had the 12 cube. So anyway, I'm rambling. Um, right here at your front door, Grand Design breaker panel so if you or fuse panel as well so if you pop a fuse you know for your slide outs or something it's right at the entry door easy to access you know you're not having to crawl over top of a kitchen counter to get to your fuse panel grand designs thinking that way uh convenience center right here at your front door so they still giving you the manual switches with the new tech on the comfort um sorry the um the one control um, compass connect system so you can still operate your slide outs lights leveling system all that stuff awnings right from the convenience of your smartphone which is cool um, you've also got tank heaters so 12 volt thermostatically controlled heat blankets that's the switch for it right there um, your tanks are heated two ways one with your furnace the other with the 12 volt heat blanket so if you're traveling from point a to point b um, and you just want to run those heat blankets, you can definitely get it done. They're thermostatically controlled as well. So once the basement gets to a certain temperature, the pads, all that sort of stuff, they actually turn off even if the switch is on. So they actually work real good that way. Um, the other thing I option in on our reflections, our 303s, uh, the, big, the big body reflections, thermal pane windows, it's a dual pane window. So really nice thing about a dual pane window, folks, is you don't get a massive R value upgrade you know, our value typically is based off thickness, um, depending on the materials they're using, of course. But um, the nice thing about a, uh, a dual pane window is it's much quieter. You know, sound travels through vibration, noise, all that sort of stuff. Um, it's a quieter window. So if you're camping in an area where you've got a big road going by, it's going to be quieter inside the trailer. But far less chance of moisture and frost building up on the inside panes of your window. So just a better window, more rugged window. It's stronger, that sort of thing. So anyway, um, that's what we do. So easy steps, getting up inside, motion sensor lighting right here at your front door. Uh, so that light will turn on. You got an easy grab handle, max fan control module right there for the fan above your kitchen. So beautiful trailer. I know I'm spending a lot of time walking around giving you lots of detail, but that's what I do. So we're going to jump up into the bathroom. More tech, more tech. I love the tech. Check out. Shower, easy transition. It's not like a step up into your shower. It's basically a full lateral move. So if you're stepping out of your shower without a towel on the floor, you know, less chance of you stepping down and your feet going out from under you. Plus it gives you more headroom inside your shower. Beautiful skylight. Okay, upgraded shower head they've got in there the storage baskets for your soaps and that sort of thing so porcelain foot flush toilet but tons of storage here grand design known for their storage again shelves in their cabinets towel bar mounted and then you've got your vanity here as well okay they put a bigger sink in as well, which is nice. It's not that tiny little stainless steel one they were using for a while. So this bad boy right here, on demand, gas only, hot water heater. All right. So the really cool thing about this, it's on demand. Like I'm talking like seconds. I was going to say 13 seconds, but I'm not 100% sure exactly what it is. I've heard 13. Anyway. You can preset the temperature to the desi your desired temp, meaning if you want to shower at 96 degrees, you set it to 96 degrees, and you turn your hot water heater lever all the way on full blast, and it's 96 degrees coming out in seconds. That's fantastic, I think. You're not having to blend your cold and hot, getting to temperature, blowing through a ton of water, filling up your gray tank. I mean, you do got a ton of gray capacity in a large fresh water tank, 
so you can you know you've got water to spare in most cases but why give it up if you don't have to right beautiful beautiful system remember it's gas only they need that recovery rate for it to burn to burn hot and to get that water up the temp okay um, it, again we're getting a ton of great press on it uh, from customers and people that are utilizing it but I think the the best part of it is that you can set the temperature to the, your desired temp of your hot water and it will heat it to that and you just let the water go you're not having to mix the water which is cool so they mount the towel bar there for your hand towels um, wardrobe slide we're gonna go in the other way to the bedroom but yeah wardrobe slide you got a real nice spot for you can take this shelf out if you want and do this as hanging storage they give you the hanger rod there or just have it as a linen cupboard for towels and things of that nature drawer pocket door that hanger there for hanging clothes two drawers here they give you the window the really nice thing that we get we we like about the reflection bedroom folks is it's a little different it's more of a residential feel in terms of you're not sleeping in a tunnel. You know, a lot of products, they run those cabinets down either side of the bed, and you're literally sleeping inches away from the end of your nose, a cabinet. You know, if you're claustrophobic with a reflection, it opens it up, gives you a little more room to breathe um, because the way they've designed their front caps, this bed is actually countersunk into the front cap, uh, which is cool. Um, but they do give you the night tables on either side of your bed. US uh, 110 plugs on either side, so if you have a um, a CPAP machine that you need to sleep with and hook up, you can hook that up. The other thing that they do, they give you a shelf up here. My wife and I have used this before, it works fantastic for, you know, you put your cell phone there, they give you the dual USB-C charging um, hook up there for charging your cell phones at night. And you know, two people can easily hook up two separate cell phones and just place them right above you. So, and it's very well lit too. You know, you got the little lights decorative wall lights there and then the reading lights above storage all the way residential size bed folks so if you don't like the mattress that comes with the trailer uh, you can go to any mattress shop this is a 60 inch wide by 80 inch long queen size bed if you want to put a mattress pad on top the residential mattress pads will fit perfectly they're not going to hang over the the edge of the bed on the short mattresses that you still find in the industry i don't know why manufacturers are still using them but they're out there be aware and then you get storage underneath your bed but you know full finisher grade plywood construction it's not a chipboard or a rough cut you know rough plywood um, it's gonna be easier on your mattresses and your bedding and that sort of thing but double gas struts now I will say if you do put on a larger mattress or put on heavier bedding that sort of thing the gas struts may not hold it up um, which you may have to upgrade or do whatever but you know just letting you know that uh, but great spot for storage oh one thing to note blackout shades roller style they work really good so um, we can option in a second air conditioner in the reflection as well if you want to order one in that way we don't stock it that way we do have a lot of people adding the max fans for the bedrooms for people that do dry camping but we can definitely set that up for you so double-sided doors I'll just close this one off and away we go so that's your 303 RLS 2022 it's got all the new tech. I've been, I was actually gonna shoot one there a couple weeks ago, but it came in and it went out and it's sitting on someone's driveway right now. Hopefully they're out camping using it for the Thanksgiving weekend up here in Canada. But um, yeah, thanks for hanging in with me. Appreciate you uh, hitting like, subscribe, share the videos, and uh, we go deep on our product videos here. Thanks for hanging in. Appreciate all the positive feedback from everybody all over. Canada and the U.S. who uh, like the videos and uh, we're going to keep shooting more but uh, again all new tech on the Grand Design RV Reflection 2022 solar pre prep for inverter 12 volt 16 cube fridge rear vision camera on demand hot water heater the list goes on did I say 165 watt solar probably but I said it again so Anyway, thanks for hanging in with me. You all take care. Be safe out there. Happy camping and blessings to you all. Bye for now.